Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Originally I was going to record the show, but after seeing some of the vehicles, I decided that you all need to see Motorama 2024. So when you first walk in, you're greeted by a Pro Mod 71 Camaro, fuel injected, supercharged, Very beautiful vehicle. When you move on to this beautiful 57 Chevy pickup truck. Everything's smooth, de chromed, modern wheels, brakes, engine. Lots of money spent on this one. Lots of hard work. Beautiful truck. Now it's been four years since the last time I've been to Motorama and the crowd is a lot, There's a lot of people here. I think a lot of people have missed these car shows since everything that's gone on the world and they're starting to get back to normal. What's better than going to see some beautiful hot rods and beautiful cars. Now we're moving over to the 68 Mustang. It's a tribute to Carl Shelby and the Trans Am series. We have a 68 Mustang, modern wheels, brakes, engine, powered by a Coyote engine, and the work on this, everything in the first room is like perfect, flawless. Sadly, this car will probably never see the track, but it is a showstopper. Modern Coyote engine, playing on the Mustangs of today. Here's one of my favorite hot rods, 1950 Mercury, chop top, shaved door handles, low, low to the ground. It's funny how you could 
so many people modify these vehicles and they all look different. This is a style that I don't think will ever die. This is an interesting pro mod, uh, 70 Camaro maybe, 69, that has an inline Nissan motor. Uh, Liberty transmission. Interesting vehicle. Beautiful 69 Charger, absolutely perfect. Got a 426 supercharged engine, huge rakes in the front. Doesn't look like a torsion bar or suspension on this one. It's all modern. But everything is perfect, like perfect flat. Straight as an arrow. Two bags in the back with the elephant symbol on it. That's what it's called Betty, it looks like. Probably close to a thousand horsepower on this one. Nice 
I do believe this was built by the same people as the Charger. This is an all carbon fiber body, Alfa Romeo. Some graphics added to the natural color of the carbon fiber. But this thing is lightweight and fast. That carbon fiber, it's chrome. Look at all the underneath. Beautiful interior. Then we have this. I think it's a 28 or 29 Ford pickup truck, hot, truck, hot rod. Heard a few, couple people rumbling about the four cylinder Chevy engine. It's a hot rod. Maybe a Ford body, but it's a hot rod. Probably a Ford. Actually drive this one on the road with four cylinders. This is going out Sunday cruising. It's a time spent on this one. Here's something you don't usually see in Canada anymore. The Merker RS4, I believe. Powered by a 2.3, which came factory, but this is a 2.3 of a newer Mustang. And it's uh, painted in Area 51. The way it should have been built. Very nice 32 hot rod. Convertible. I like the way they tilted the, the hood. The whole front piece just tilts. It's got a coyote engine and it's got a uh, different fuel injection system in stacks. The nice thing about these uh, fuel injected engines and the old cars, you got the style and the reliability of the new technology. Great combination of both. This one has an independent rear suspension instead of a solid axle. And we got the Ford pickup truck here, F1. I'm assuming 347. 
means it has a stroker engine in it. It's probably a 302 board and stroke. This car is straight. Paint is perfect. Any of you that have tried to paint anything black, no, black is unforgiven. Beautiful truck. Here's another one of my favorite 50 Mercury's. Like I said before, everybody builds them. Not too the same. It has like a four inch chop on the roof. The bad guy, 1950 coupe. Beautiful two-tone paint. Here's another true hot rod. You'll never see two of the same, but everybody does though. Nice 32, five window. Supercharged, I think it's a small block Chevy, supercharged. Fifty style Chevy pickup. Another beautiful truck. eBay Motors and Mike Hall from Russ Bros in the background there. Must have been about 200 people lined up to see him. But yeah, look at this truck. I like the wood bed. Very nicely done. Nice interior. eBay Motors Rust Bros. I do believe this is Connor's vehicle. 66, I think it's 66 Chevelle. Uh, from what I remember, they widened the rear fenders so they put this big, these big tires into it. But if you didn't know any better, the body looks, the body looks stock, but it's not. Full road cage, beautiful interior. And it's powered by a LS, supercharged LS engine. There was a lot more stuff to see in the first room, but I already spent two hours recording up here, so. After this one, I'm going to move to the back. Now 
Now we're in the section here where uh, a lot of vans, uh, a lot of 50s cultured vehicles, a lot of vendors, a DJ uh, spitting some 50s tunes. work the workmanship on this mural for this van incredible I wanted to record the whole show but it's like so many people so I had to edit this down a little bit one of my other favorites is the, the 54 Chevy Bel Air I like these flat pink jobs, satin, Uber's hood. Everybody comes to these car shows, big, small, men, women, children. Here's another Mercury different than the first two that we've seen. Everybody does them different. But they're in the corner of hot riding. Factory 5 Hot rod done up to be like a 34 Ford. Suicide doors, convertible. Trailer park car, uh, trailer park boys. Uh, this is Ricky's vehicle. Missing doors and everything. I like this paint, this type of paint job. This is so cool, I find. Old style tow truck. AMC. I think it was only one of two. I think I seen a gremlin in the next room. Not a lot of AMCs at this show. Someone explain some of the work that they can do.
grew up in the 50s and 60s. These were what you would have seen. Old hot rods like this. I think this one here is uh, like a 70, 70 Nova. Looks like it's to uh, tribute to one of Kurt Russell's movies. I really like this hot rod. 2829. Part track car. Part rot, rat rod. Little go kart coffin there. Thirty four Chevy or something pickup truck. Dodge Cornette, very cool. This uh, rat rod truck is really cool. They got uh, like industrial chain as part of the front bodywork. An old wood saw that you would see in a lumber yard as the sun visor. A lot of these cars are plated. Imagine this roaring down your city streets. <laughs> Old slingshot dragster. We have a uh, prefix, I believe. Supercharged. Injected. Oh, this is a gasser. From, uh, the 60s, 70s. When drag racing was going pro. It's all business. Be gas. Old track car. These Chevy vans. I love these. These are this thing's powered by like a 400 horsepower small block Chevy. The paint. I like the color. The color combinations. Beautiful. No, no seat belts in this one. 
that carry about 12 of your best friends. Sixty-six. Like this video doesn't do these vehicles justice. <laughs> Here's a throwback to the seventies. Shade carpet, wood flooring. They even got a, a fake fireplace inside. This is before van life. This is where van life started. Place for you to sleep. Oh, they've got a TV inside. This is a throwback to my childhood. The denim machine. Uh, Coke and Levi's teamed up. And, uh, promotion. They made a bunch of these vans that look like this go-kart here. And they toured North America in them. passion that people put into these vehicles. Now we're getting into the newer stuff. A lot of these cars are definitely street cars. This is a three-day event that's every March. Right at the Toronto International Center. You would need three days, really, to look at each of these vehicles. Like, there's stuff that... I spent three hours there and just skimmed the top. Yeah, this, this section was really tight. A lot of people hanging around, talking. A lot of people looking at the vehicles, wondering, can I do this to my Tiguan?
another car that will never die, old Honda Civic. People are still building them. A lot of race car inspired vehicles with graphics. So many people in this section it's hard to hard to get a clearer clearer look at some of these cars. This uh, original Mini with uh, big turbo Honda engine. I think this big turbo. Full roll cage. to a car show without seeing some square bodied Volkswagens. Well everyone, I could probably record for about two or three more hours, but I'm done. I'm tired. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, think about subscribing. And uh, maybe we'll see you at Motorama 2025. Everybody have a great day.